Good morning folks, welcome back for another 4am. Okay, so the nodes that we're going to look at today is the attribute nodes. Now, it took me a while to um, actually figure this one out and there is a bit of a, um, a grey area with this as to what, what you can actually pull back from your uh, mesh. So... What I mean by pulling back is it, it can pull back like um, vertex colors, um, UV maps, stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is, um, first of all, just throw on my keys so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to delete that and I'm going to add in, oops, not that, add in a plane. Okay, now... With this plane, let's just, um, for argument's sake, subdivide it a bunch of times. Okay. Now, we're going to go over to our data menu. And we're going to add in a vertex color scheme. So we're going to call that vcol1. And it's important that you do name everything correctly. Uh, because this is what you're going to be pulling back with the nodes. Okay, so go into vertex paint, and this is just a, a just a little thing that you can do with it. Basically, this is not the only reason why it gets used. So we're going to go blue, strength one, paint that there. Um. Create a new recall to red on point eight, and we're going to paint that across there. Create a new one recall three, make it green and strength is um, point five. And make that green back there. Okay. So then switch ourselves into Cycles Vendor. And let's go in to Compositing. Now a quick little thing with that is if you hold down Control and the left and the right arrow, you can switch between them very easily which is actually really quite good. So then, in material, let's do, let's do new, aren't we? And then use nodes. And then let's add in our attributes. So we've got our diffuse, we've got our material output. Now, I'll just go through a little bit of the, of of what it is basically the attribute node allows you to achieve attributes attached to an object or a mesh it has no inputs so there's no input to this side these are all the inputs these are the outputs inputs outputs this only has outputs color vector and fac so on the main um for the main properties of it you have your name which is name of attributes currently the following are mo most important ones you will need to know so there's a big big list of these on the internet um this is the gray area to be honest of what exactly can be used on it so just for now we're just going to focus on the vertex color because that's a definite that can be used um, and it's the top one that you are going to use on it so vertex color layers these can be retrieved uh, by their names you can also use density of the smoke domain so that's for your physics. Flame, the smoke domain. Colour of the smoke domain. And then the ocean foam as well of the ocean modifier. So there is a full list, uh, a full list of those on the Blender Stack Exchange. Now on the outputs we have colour. That's an RGB colour interpolated from the attribute. You have vector, which is the XYZ vector interpolated from the attribute. And then you have FAC which scalar value interpolates from the attributes. So 
Okay, let's have a look at this then. So what we'll do is, let's go to, into a vendor with this, let's see what this does. Okay, let's just call back vcol1, and let's add in that colour. Okay, let's maybe try the material. Okay, so vcol1, red. Let's try, oh, I thought, sorry, we call one. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So now if we go into our vendors, we have our blue. And then we have V call two over here. So let's try V call two is the blue and the red, because we didn't get rid of the blue, because it's on well call, uh, V call one. And then we have V call three, which was all three of them on there. Now, I mean, I'm only I'm quite new to using the nodes, so this could be useful for some things. Um, myself personally, um, I couldn't tell you. I, I basically I wouldn't know. Um, but let's just have a look at. Um, let's try this. Let's try. Will this work? Will this work? <laughs> no. Okay. So. Hmm. I'm just having a look at like there's a little um there's a thing on the blender.org and Basically, it's saying that it can be used like this. So let's try that there. No. And not call it into there, maybe. No. Okay. So transparency doesn't really do much for it, does it? No. But. You know, you you get the gist of it basically. Um, you're gonna call back one of its attributes from its data menu. So I would assume that that can also be a vertex group, a shape key, UV maps, geometry data, anything that's inside of these properties. I would think that you can call back. As I say, there is a big list on the internet, so. Um, definitely have a look at that that's going to give you a lot more information um, I'm just trying to have a little a little play around with it just to figure out what it can do and up to now the vertex color is probably one of the, the, the biggest ones that you're going to use for it okay so that's the attribute nodes um, I think next we're going to be looking at the camera data so for now that will be all folks and as always, like, comment and subscribe and hopefully see you again soon. Thank you very much for watching.